Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to compare these two speakers, Quad S2 with Powers and Wilkins 706 S2 mini monitor speakers. These are very much different in their, you know, retail price that currently they sell for. Quad S2 should be direct competition to Bowers and Wilkins 707 S2, the one below this model, but this is what I have, so I'm gonna go ahead and compare it anyway. Quad S2 uses true ribbon tweeter with five inch base driver. 706 S2 use carbon dome tweeter with continent base driver, which is a bigger driver than Quad S2. Overall fit and finish, build quality, I think every bit is comparable on these speakers. If you look at the cabinetry design, I kind of like the Quad S2 a little bit more. Binding post, I, I really like the one that they use is on Quad S2. Really nice and tight grip. Bass reflex port on these two speakers are very different. Quad uses very narrow uh, rear reflex port compared to 706 S2 speakers. And then the cabinet is much smaller as well. So that's a build quality. I, in my opinion, these two are every bit is comparable. As you may already know, Bowers and Wilkins have uh, a little bit of forward nets on upper frequency range. So time to time, it has a brightness that I have to deal with. Quad has to have very detailed, very good extension, good space between each notes with very airy, spacious feeling. It has a really appealing sound signature. Easier to listen, easier to enjoy your music, still providing a high resolution, detailed sound with very accurate tone and voices. That's how I would describe on this Quad S2 speakers. It has a little bit of warmth that I can hear it. It's very enjoyable. It's not overly warmed or anything like that. And compared to 706S2, 706S2 have it has a more frequency extension, which is probably due to the uh, the forward uh, signature sounding of that speaker. And then it has a little bit more spacious feeling when I'm listening to. But, you know, if you compare back to back, I think Quad S2 have a more balanced sound from top to bottom. So 706S2 is really good with good quality recording when you throw uh, not so good quality recording i cannot deal with that quad s2 on the other hand is not as that bad but it still shows the uh, you know actual music quality of music that i throw in for the long run personally i think quad s2 is I can enjoy listening to my music more than 706S2. This one, I like it more than Kef LS50s. I like it more than Fuka Aria 906 or many other speakers in this price point. You may be able to hear and differentiate the uh, performance output of these speakers in my sound samples. But in the real world that when I'm listening to the bass response from 706S2 is um, amazingly good for this size of the speakers. But Quad S2 is no slouch either. It is really good. It's just not as fast as the 706S2. It's not as tight, but it's almost there. It's really good. This 5-inch driver reproduce that frequency range in this size of the cabinet is more impressive. And then the stereo image, sound stage, and scale is really good. Quad S2 bass performance is very nice, very pronounced. Um, it has a little bit of warmth on it. So that's, I think, what is makes it really balanced and musical from upper bass to 
lower mid-range transition area. So balanced sound is really good for long-term ownership and enjoying your music. So that's, I would suggest, if you have to choose from these two speakers, I will suggest Quad S2 for my friend because it's more balanced sound signature and also you can enjoy listening to very long hours. There is not, not much uh, I can ask for this price point of the speakers. Mid-range accuracy, vocals, I like the human voices on Quad S2 more than 706 S2. 706 S2 have a little bit more details, but Quad S2 have a more accurate voice reproduction, especially human voices. On the other hand, 706 S2 have a little bit more dynamic sound signature with a little bit more attack. So that kind of things that make big difference in this kind of uh, high quality bookshelf speakers. I like both speakers. I don't mind owning both. But if I have to start over, Quad S2 should be on top of my list. Back in the days, I was always turned down by uh, ribbon tweeters. It's not that I don't like the sound of a ribbon tweeters. Like three speakers that I own with using top of the line ribbons and they sound great, but uh, there is, you know, the integration problem. It may not noticeable for everyone, but to me is very big noticeable. There is a disconnect in that transitional frequency area. I mean, this one is very impressive. Overall, more balanced sound. So if you are after that kind of sound signature, I will highly recommend Quad S2 over many speakers, including 706S2, 707S2. I had both of the speakers. 707S2 have a bit more forward sound signature than 706S2 in my system. That's why I get rid of it. And uh, this one is none of that. So if you are after like, if you really enjoy really nice high frequency extensions, really spacious and instrument separation, you can choose 707S2 or 706S2. I think bass response from uh, Quad S2 is better than 707S2 in my system. Uh, 706, 707S2, I own, I no longer have a 707 but I still have this one and S2, the Quad S2 is a sample. So which is, I really enjoyed and I really like the way that reproduces sound in my system. So right now I'm even thinking of uh, trying out a Quad uh, S5 speaker. So my advice is, what sound signature are you going after? If you want accurate balance, musical sound signature try this one if you like revealing a transparent good spacious sound stage with nice and deep uh, bass performance out of bookshelf speakers try this one overall sound quality sound accuracy voice reproduction better than cap ls 50s better than 707s2 so for human voices i don't think any other speaker and this price point can touch this Quad S2 speakers. In sound reproduction, more realistic, accurate human voices. Upper mid range and of course, the frequency range is very accurate and musical as well. So here's my summary. Bowers and Wilkins 706 S2, it's dynamic, spacious, high resolution, sound signature with very nice and tight bass performance, clarity, uh, everything, I mean, really good, other than that a little bit of forwardness. Quad S2, on the other hand, really have most accurate mid-range reproduction, actually very musical, yet very revealing, 
This is a timeless sound signature that you can own it for many years. That's how I would describe. So let's say if I have to choose one speaker for very long time from these two speakers, Quad S2 will be my personal choice. That's it, my friends. Thank you for watching and happy listening. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, man, have a name too. You're so like the lady with a mystic smile. Is it all? Strangeness in her smile. Do you smile to tempt the lover, Mona Lisa? Or is this your way to hide a broken heart? Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep, baby, just lie there, and they die there. Are you warm? Are you real, Mona Lisa? Or just a cold? Thank you.
many dreams have been brought to your doorstep, but they just lie there. Are you warm? Are you real? Oh, no, you sad. Oh, you're just a cold, lonely, lonely work of art. Are you warm? Are you real? Oh, no, you sad. Or just a cold. Lonely, lonely work of heart. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, man, have a name too. You're so like the lady with a mystic smile. Is it only because you're lonely? Strangeness in her smile. Do you smile to tempt the lover, Mona Lisa? Or is this your way to hide a broken heart? Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep, baby, just lie there, and they die there. Are you warm? Are you real, Mona Lisa? Or just a cold? Lonely, lonely work of Many dreams have been brought to your doorstep, but they just lie there. How they die there? Are you warm? Are you real, Mona Lisa? Oh, you're just a cold and lonely. Are you warm? Are you real? Mona Lisa? Or just a
thirsty, cold, and lonely, lonely wake of heart.